We are in the E block. You know what that means. Time for entertainment news. Yes. It's always a fun block. Good Some to be fun. joining you guys for this. Uh, this week, we've got news on the holy trinity, you could call it, uh, in the music world right now. Yeah. Justin Bieber, Beyonce, Jay-Z. Let's start with the Biebs. And new video surfaced showing him, come on, man, urinating into a mop bucket in the back of a New York restaurant. He also sprayed a cleaning liquid on a picture of Bill Clinton and followed that up by dropping an F-bomb on the former president. You know we got to talk about this. Joining us now for more, V103 radio personality Kendra G and co-host of the Ricky Smiley Morning Show, Ebony Steele. Good to have you both back. Good to Glad be here. to be here. So, all right, so Bieber apologized to the former president. Uh, I think we have the tweet. Bill Clinton, at Bill Clinton, yes. thanks yeah. for taking the time to talk, Mr. President. Uh, your words meant a lot. Great guy. I'm surprised a former president took his call. I am, too. And what's funny about this, first of all, I think it's so cool that you refer to him as the Beebs. Yeah. My mom referred yeah. to him as the Beebs, like, last week. And I'm yeah. like, okay, everybody's talking about Justin Bieber. Like, But with the fact that Justin Bieber is, is doing these kind of things, it's like, is it really a big deal? Or is it the fact that he is a star and his life is so exciting? And when he does it, it makes everybody else, you know, get an uproar because it's Justin Bieber. Yeah. You know what? I think it's a big deal. He needs a good shake. He needs like a moment with my grandmother. You know, right now he's not being parented at all. You know how I feel about that. Just shake him up a little bit. Yeah. You know, his parents are the true definition of child support, which as in the child is supporting them. Mm -hmm. So that's why they're not disciplining him at all. He's out of control. I think it's kind of big. I well, well I, in the sense, I, I agree with you, but he's driving, what is it, a leopard print Audi right now? Oh, like, what, yeah. No, I like the car. No, I ride in the car. So you got to decide which one you Because know, that car says trouble. I know. My thing is just nasty. Well, it's time. a mop bucket in the kitchen. And and Oh, yeah. Now, that is uncalled for. He's wearing the, him and his friends, they wear the diaper here and pants. It's like, couldn't you just, you couldn't just go in the pants? Why do you have to go in the mop? Right, right. the right clothes oh. for it. Right, right, right. right. Uh, so, this was really interesting to me. Jay-Z, a fascinating guy, businessman, in right. many senses now, just as much as a musician. So, we, we've known for a long time that he's friends with President Obama, right. a big supporter of the president in both his runs for office. But he did this interview on Hot 97 Radio this week, um, talking about texting with the president and called the friendship amazing. Um, you know, and he also said, he was asked, do you text, do you phone call with the president? He's like, yeah, of course. I mean, not of course, you know, not to sound callous right, right. or anything, but what's, what's your take on that? Well, I think that this is a prime example of how we, as regular everyday people, like to see the person become a superhero. And we see that mm. with Jay-Z, but we also like to see the person that is fabulous seem regular. Yeah. And when President Obama and the First Lady are friends, so to speak, with Jay-Z and Beyonce, yeah. that's what we see. And it's so intriguing right, right, right. to mm -hmm. see that mix, and that's what America yes. is about. And he's not texting Obama saying, hey, I'm in D.C., I got my grandmother, can I come to your yeah. house real quick? Well, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. I don't think he's doing that. I think he's very respectful with that relationship, or he wouldn't have it. It was interesting. He said that the president uses sports analogies, and yeah. he's been talking yeah. about the last few weeks of the campaign. Yeah. He was like, all right, we're in the fourth quarter yeah. here. Like, let's just get it get in the bag. Get ball. I, I don't got think this. he's the first president to have this, because we know that uh, Sinatra was very close to the Reagan. Yeah. Exactly. So I think every president kind of has yes. some kind of... Barack and Jay-Z are boys. Right. Like me and you, but boy, girl. Yeah, 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 we yeah, can't, yeah, you know, we pop can't it touch. up a little bit. There you go. That's all. There were some tweets last week about we were touching <laughs> yeah, too much. Yeah, yeah. My daddy called me. It's a little love fest. It's all good. Let's, it's cute. Let's talk about Beyonce, because she's yes. got this new $50 million yes. campaign. Yeah. She's got yes. a commercial with Pepsi, and it seems some people are upset because she's now endorsed and working with this soft drink company while also teaming up with Michelle Obama on her initiative to fight childhood obesity. Now, in a new interview, Beyonce says it's no big deal. Now... Is it a big deal? Let me first give you a couple gotcha. seconds on the show last okay. night. Yes, last night I went to the Beyonce to check out um, the show, and I'm still in my Beyonce. Ah, yeah, yeah. the world. Ooh, I mean, Beyonce came on stage and killed it. She was singing, dancing, changed her outfit. She flew across the stage wow. to a different stage. She's incredible. Now, with Pepsi, it's okay. She's not drinking Pepsi every single day. And, I mean, she's perfect for Michelle Obama because she's always moving. I saw her live in action last night. So I think people right now, I think they're picking on Jay-Z and Beyonce, really. They're bullying them. There's nothing wrong with her having an endorsement from Beyonce and, uh, for but, Pepsi at all. And it's a commercial. Yeah. Root word commerce. It's money. Right. It's $50 million if it may have been Coke. That's you know right. what I'm saying? She might be drinking Coke, and you cannot make me believe that she's warming up Pepsi and putting it in a little black <laughs> baby blue Ivy sippy cup. No. I mean, you know. But for $50 million, you can do both. the baby might have to drink Pepsi. I forgot $50 million on live. $50 million. Breast, Pepsi. I would breastfeed oh Pepsi God. for $50 million. All right. Kendra G, on that note, Kendra G, Ebony <laughs> oh, Steele. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming in. Yes. Guys. Appreciate it.
Who's a hoot? Yeah. Uh, one of college. Everybody. They does. won't stop touching Victor.